When you think of Chromebook, what do you think of? Lightweight operating system, fast boot times, simple browser-based interface. I know what I immediately think of when I think of a Chromebook, and it's one word, Linux. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Why Linux, you ask? As your Chromebook already does everything you want it to. If that's the case, great. But if you're watching this video, I can assume you want your Chromebook to do more. Although you may not see it as a possibility, it's actually developing the possibility of using Linux. It's all beginning to change. Google's intentions are to make features available to software being developed via this platform by enabling the Linux beta platform otherwise known as Crostini. Chromebook users will now be able to install command line tools, code editors, and IDEs. The Chromebook is a very simplistic device in which managing your device's settings is very important. In order to do this, which is very similar to the management of an Android device, you have multiple options. First, you can either click the clock located in the bottom right corner of the taskbar, or you can click the Google search icon in the lower left of the taskbar, then search for settings. Before attempting to install Linux beta on your Chromebook, you will want to make sure your Chromebook OS is up to date. Also, depending on the chipset, some of the older Chromebooks won't have support for Crostini. To update your Chrome OS, go to settings, select About Chromebook OS, click Check for Updates. To enable Linux beta mode on the Google Chromebook, it is rather easy. Every major adjustment to the Chromebook starts in the Settings window. Navigate to Settings and then select Linux beta. From there, select Turn On. This will launch the installation. Click Install. Now sit back and wait, as this may take up to 10 minutes depending on the computing resources of your Chromebook model. When the installation is complete, you'll see a terminal window that will pop up. Once you have access to the terminal window, as you should with any new Linux install, initiate your first set of update commands. To update your Linux instance, you will notice that unlike Linux on desktop, you don't have to type in your password when using the sudo command. Also, you can start to install Linux applications like LibreOffice with the following command. The default distro used is Crostini, but you can easily switch it to Ubuntu if you prefer to have a more updated application repository. Moving forward, there will be more and more functions that your Chromebook will be able to accomplish with Linux. The possibilities are really endless, from productivity applications to cybersecurity related tools. What will you be using Linux for on your Chromebook? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified with our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.